We spoke with our next guest back in February, just before the launch of the 40th season of Survivor. At that time, Amber Burgage told us that she was excited to be back on Survivor with her husband, boss and Rob Mariano. And while she was going into the game with the experience of being a previous winner, so was everyone else in the game. Now, as we get ready for the Survivor 40 finale tonight, we are happy to talk with Amber again from her home in Florida. Hi, Amber. Hi, how are you? Good. So what has it been like watching the season? Oh, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I've never watched a season that I was on with my girls before. <laughs> so uh, they've been having a ball and it's just been, we look forward to every Wednesday night watching Survivor and eating Doritos. The girls have had a really great year. I mean, with Rob being on in the fall and me being on with Rob in the spring, it's been a lot of fun. And so I, I know when uh, we spoke to you ahead of the this season, you mentioned about being on the first time around, you were the youngest, and now coming back on 20 years later. What was that experience like? Wow, it was completely different. I mean, going out there as the youngest player, I had no idea what I was doing, but I definitely had all my you know, young energy about me. Now in my 40s, it feels a little different being out there for sure. Plus, I have four girls at home that I'm missing terribly. So it was a completely different experience this time around. My mindset was in another place. I wasn't just thinking about myself. I was thinking about my girls and them watching this and making sure that I set a good example for them and show them just how strong I am and how strong they will be when they grow up. Isn't that all, as a mom, isn't that always the pull is that you, you have this motivation to provide and to show them and set an example, but you also miss them terribly and want to be with them. <laughs> so it's always that, <laughs> that pull back and forth. Yes, it's a terrible distraction. <laughs> I mean, I've never been away from my girls for even just a few days, let alone for almost two months. So it weighed on me hard, but I did a lot of preparation before I left. So I knew that they were set and ready to go so I could concentrate on my game and do whatever I needed to do to hopefully get to the end. Okay, so it's my understanding that somebody gets to come back. I don't think you're going to answer this, but was it you? <laughs> it was, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, somebody does get to come back in the show um, for the last get back challenge and compete to get to the end and um, get to the final three and win. So we'll see what happens. I know what happens, but I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> I, I thought I'd ask anyways. Was there there's something a favorite of you, of you just watching uh, that happened this season, something that really stood out for you? Well, my girls got to come visit us out there, and that was just the most amazing moment ever. I mean, usually when you get voted out, you count that family visit out. People who get voted out don't get their family to come and give them that extra motivation to keep going. So the fact that they showed up there on the edge of extinction was just a complete shock. I couldn't believe what was going on. And, you know, Rob and I have been married for 15 years now, and without Survivor, we wouldn't have each other. Aww. We wouldn't have these four girls that we have our story started on survivor and it's really kind of cool that now they're literally a part of our story and they've been out there and they've witnessed it firsthand what mommy and daddy do i mean rob's been on this six times now and this is my third time so it's really really cool that they're literally a part of our story now well we can't let you go without uh saying something about your shirt any shout out for beaver of course i got my hometown beaver shirt on and i just wanted to Thank everybody back at home for just being in my corner all these years later. I can't believe 20 years later, I'm back on the show again, and everybody is still as the rooting for me just as they did back then, and I'm really appreciative of it, and they've made it a whole lot of fun, and I hope they've enjoyed this season. Well, thank you so much, Amber. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. And watch for the season finale of Survivor tonight at 8, right here on KDKA.